Okay guys, so today I wanted to introduce you to the QI add-ons for Elementor. So these add-ons are a collection of 100 plus Elementor widgets that will allow you to build very unique websites and to provide your visitors with a very unique experience as well. Now most of these, to be honest, are pretty self-explanatory, but today I'd like to show you some of the features that stood out for me as being unique and that are not being covered usually by other add-on development companies. So let me show you quickly what these are and what they do and then I'll show you how to install them and use them in Elementor. So let's do this together now. So as you can see, we're a complete list here of 100 plus widgets. So some of them are pretty self-explanatory as you can see pricing table, but that's basically what it says, you know, is to create a pricing table. This is for pricing list. This is to display your working hours and so on and so on. So I'm not going to showcase those today. What I'm going to show is those that stood out for me as being unique. So there's a few, quite actually quite a few, you know. So we have this one here, premium button. We have text gradient. We have pricing calculator. This you've never seen anywhere else. I can guarantee I'm going to show you in a second. This is absolutely unique. They're the only ones who've done it uh, so far. And then you have rating as well product comparison, order tracking, and so on. So let me show you just a few, and then I'll, uh, I'll showcase how to install that and how to use them in Elementor. So premium button here, if you open this. So normally a button is just a square box. When you click on it, it might change color, but this one will give you the opportunity to use SVG shapes and have very unique buttons. As you can see, this is uh, something a bit different, which might uh, compel your visitors uh, to click on them you know make it more appealing basically okay so as you can see this is very unique isn't it this is this is nice very creative look at this one here <laughs> want to see more who wouldn't click on that to be honest you know so this is one of them the other one is text gradient so now i'm not too sure if this is unique but i thought it was very nice the way they did it as you can see there's a gray uh, gradient uh, color going through this the same here but look at this one here not only does your text have a gradient in the background, but it's also revolving. As you can see, if you follow one color here, the purple is going right to left, left to right and so on. So it's very nice. You have a nice effect as well. And you can select any color uh, that you want as well, you know. So this is one option. So another one I wanted to show you is the advanced toggle. So this is also very nice. So for instance, if you're offering different plans, maybe limited, unlimited, they can uh, switch from one to the other. As you can see, you have different pricing tables, but this works only not just for pricing tables, but also for uh, this, as you can see, anything literally, you know, it could be uh, links, hyperlinks to your pages, new plugins, old plugins, you see, with different images. And what I like with them as well is that they offer the option to change the layout as well, because it's usually a rounded shape like this, as a toggle switch but this one is squared which is very unique as well i really like that and then finally let me show you the most unique one of all i haven't seen that before anywhere else apart from here is the pricing calculator and be ready to be blown away this is absolutely fantastic let's say this is for a dentist so if you toggle on and off as you can see we automatically add up the price of this option if you want to add bridges it's 40 add crowns is 45 now you can add different colors as well as you can see you can have a red background or green background which is visually more appealing obviously you know so if you want to add the crown as you can see or remove it uh, it's very easily done so as you can see you can have it as a full table here with 15 or 20 different options and then your visitors can easily add or remove an option and see the total cost here, here, right here by the side so this is a very appealing way and very simple way to showcase your services to your visitors and for them to know exactly how much it's going to cost them. So let me show you now how you can use these and install them into your Elementor uh, pages. Okay guys, so let's design something together here. Let's have a bit of fun, okay? So as you can see, we start with a blank canvas and we have all the QI add-ons uh, elements right here. So all the widgets are right here. They have their own colors as you can see, you know? So let's start by designing, by adding maybe a text color. I use that as a heading. So let's scroll down the, the different widgets here. So TTT, where is it now? There it is, text gradient. So we can add this one first. And as you can see, by default, it will add a bit of text and uh, already so apply some gradient color already. So that looks very good to start with. So what can we put as a text here? Okay, so let's say something like this, you know, QI add-ons demo page right here. We are going to showcase how easy it is to make beautiful looking Elementor pages in minutes. 
let's not waste any time and let's get started okay so as you can see by default it will apply a specific gradient colors so where can you change this if you go to style you have the main color here that will go across as you can see this is the gradient animation so you can enable or disable that all together so if you don't want that revolving color you can disable it as well this is really up to you i think it looks nice so you might as well keep it and then you can add two or more different colors so as you can see we have a green here and we also have a white color and this is why we have that, uh, that effect here and all these different colors uh, mixing up together okay so again you can add an additional color if you wanted to so you could add maybe a dark blue or dark purple whichever color you know so let's add another one right here and let's see what this looks like so you can see this is the purple we just added uh, together here and then you can reorder them as well so if you wanted the purple to be first and the green uh, second and so on so you can easily do that by moving them around as well so let's keep just two colors for now okay let me delete this one and then you have your usual ones you can align this to the left to the right or center so let's center this and you can change your font as well obviously you know so you can increase the font size so let's make this a little bit bigger just like this maybe 25 would be just about perfect you can change the thickness and all of that obviously you know so let's add a little bit of padding all around maybe 70 all together yeah and now we can reduce the size of the font a little bit now again so let's keep it just like that perfect okay so this is our heading now and perhaps we could add a background color maybe a dark color uh, so it stands out so we go we click on our section itself we go to style a background type and let's select maybe a very dark color maybe black there you go that looks perfect now very good so this is section number one so we've used our text gradient now we could add so let's have a look again so let's say the premium button this time okay so we can create a section here maybe a two sections so you could have some text here maybe a headline or something and then a call to action with the button right here okay so let's do that so we're going to add a little bit of text right here and we're going to add our button so if you look for button here and as you can see you can spot immediately those qi add-ons because they have their own color and there it is a uh, premium button so let's add it here on the other side so uh, there it is click here and now we can add our svg background so we can select our image so i uploaded two of them from their demo page so i've downloaded them basically you know uh, svg here insert and there you go i think this is looking pretty good you know so you can download any svg you want and use this as a background and the good thing with svg it will be the same size regardless of the type of uh devices that you're using you know it will always be uh, crisp and sharp and you keep the same animation as well so that looks good and then we can add a little bit of spacing on top maybe let's say 40 on top and maybe 40 at the bottom as well now obviously those are fully customizable as well you know your button here you can go into style you can change the style of the button the typography in normal mode hover mode you can select the underline style the gradient style as well and svg style so depending on the type of svg you're going to import it you can also apply different features and customize them uh, separately you know okay so let's add maybe the what's the next one let's say the pricing calculator oh that's a good one okay so calc so there it is so let's create uh, again a section here so let's say maybe this one uh, maybe this one here okay so we'll have a larger one on the side and the other one so we're going to put our prices right here so calculator there you go drag and drop and then we could put something else right here so maybe some text and a headline so text heading there you go and maybe a bit of text as an explanation oops sorry let's try again there you go so let's change our heading here so maybe you could have something like our pricing structure is very simple indeed and then right here let's change the background of this section first so style we're gonna go and add maybe a white color there you go that's better and maybe a bit of padding all around let's try 25 yeah that'd be just about perfect i think okay now we can customize this okay so let me show it super easy so let's click on our widget so this one is pricing calculator so basically you have some text right here so this is the text we have there okay we have a total cost so you can have the currency before and then also per month for instance so you have the the period the currency and the button text so this is the one here underneath and then you can link that to a specific product page uh, inside uh, your website so it could be a woocommerce landing page it could be maybe an external page whatever you want okay and then we have all our different items here so item one two and three and then you, if you click on them you can uh, give them a title 
title and then a value obviously you know so you can have them by default as well so which one is enabled by default as you can see is this one here so let's disable this for now and let's make the first one active to start with okay so there you go so the first one by default will be enabled and as you can see now we have a cost of 10 so each item has its own cost so this one is 10 this one is 15 and this one is 20 so that's very easy to follow this far okay so this is basically how this works so let's change this together actually no so let's call this one hosting and the hosting would be 65 dollars the second one would be domain name okay so this one could be 15 and then we could have as well emails okay and this would be an extra tenor just like this okay so now as you can see we have our own set of uh, features so hosting domain name and uh, email so if you click on this as you can see 65 that's for the hosting if i add the domain name it's going to cost me 80 and if i add the emails it's 90 dollars in total now each of these options here that you can see can be tweaked and customized as well so as you can see we have a button here so if you click on this you have the button it will be filled so the, this button here is this one here the purchase now so it could be outlined there you go slightly different or textual so that's the text on its own okay so let's say filled for now then you can select standard or with inner border as you can see this, these are different ones you know or icon boxed there you go so this is really up to you play around with this you can customize and stylize this the way you want and then you the button icon so this is for this one you can add an icon as well so let's say if you wanted to add a cart maybe uh, let's say this one here okay insert now we have a shopping card next to it and then we can stylize those ones here those toggle switches okay so we have the full style so this is for the the section itself and then we have the switcher style so this is the one we'd be interested in so as you can see we have no background at the moment so this is just bland okay but in active mode this is the one we're most interested in okay so if you select this maybe this one would be enabled and then we can change the button button color as well to white so that looks a lot better doesn't it so if it's clicked on you will know and maybe the one that's disabled you want it to be red so let's say background color here let's go for red okay and a white button so you know which one is on and which one is off so this is really up to you you can play around with the colors you know and stylize that based on your own preferences and now look how comprehensive this is you know you can stylize the item title the price style the description the button style the button icon everything so every aspect of this section can be customized based on your own preferences you know so you can really 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 design something that's unique uh, to your business and to your uh, own taste okay so next what can we add let's try another one let's say the advanced toggle this time okay so let's add another section again so let's make a full width this time and let's say that uh, toggle so t-o-g-g-l-e there you go and as you can see again it's easy to spot they have their own color so let's uh, insert this here and there you go as you can see you have your first title and second title so if you use the toggle switch here you can uh, switch from one to the other so let's say maybe you have two different plans so maybe one is monthly and the other one is yearly let's say okay so monthly yearly and then you can select two different templates so you have to select templates here and insert them here so for this we're going to create them ourselves okay i'm going to show you how to do this uh, from scratch so we go back to our wordpress dashboard and we're going to use elementor for this we go to templates and now we can create our own template so whether you're using uh, elementor pro or not you'll be able to do this yourself you know so let's add a new one so let's select and say call this a section so let's say section one and now again if you're using elementor pro you can import a de uh, demo content here immediately you know uh, pricing uh, tables like this but for this demo we're going to do this ourselves you know so i'm just going to close this all together okay so from here let's insert a table so let's use two of the qi add-ons features again so my, maybe you could have uh, the comparative table and the data table so let's start with this one comparative table and then you can have a quick look at how they all work so table comparative table drag and drop very good 
So as you can see here, basically you have all the, the, you have two different titles, two different columns that you can compare and then you might have all the different features here, you know? So you can be comparing different items and it's very easy for the visitors as well to see immediately what's happening. So your column titles are right here. So you can change them right there. Okay. Title one, title two, and your rows here. So your features would be displayed right there. Okay. So this is where you can change them and change the title altogether. So how can you change those tick marks here, or, uh, whether it's positive or negative? Well, very simple. If you go back here, as you can see with the column title and underneath where the row value uh, uh, with a separated with a comma. So as you can see the first one is plus, minus, minus. Now, as you can see, we have a tick mark X, X. So if I change this now to a plus, as you can see, tick mark, X, tick mark, you know, so this is basically how this works. Now, everything is customizable, obviously, you know, if you go into style, you can change the generic style of the background. You can change the title. Uh, you can change the rows as well. You can add a background, uh, sign style, button style and all of that. So I'll let you play around with this. Obviously, you can customize this again based on your own preferences. So let's save this template for now. So let's click publish. So there you go. We have section number one. So you can go back to our WordPress dashboard now. Very good. So if we go back to our templates, as you will see, we have section one. And now we can create a second one. OK, so let's add new. Let's select this one, so section. So let's call this one section two, create template. And again, we can close this. We're gonna build that ourselves. And we're gonna look for table again. So we said this time is gonna be a data table. So let's insert this right here. And there you go. As you can see, this is a data table. So you have your columns and your rows as well. So the heading here, so those uh, column titles are right here. So if you click on this, you can change the title. And the same here, column two, three, and four. And then underneath, as you can see, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items, and we only have two rows. So basically, each item will be added up uh, sideways like this. So it will add this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. And this is basically how you build this. So if you wanted to change the very first one here, this is an image. If you click on this, you can see this is the image. You can change this to text. There you go. Now we have text and you can do the same with the second one. So the second one here would be the fifth item. So if you close this, as you can see, one, two, three, four, and this would be the fifth one normally. There you go. As you can see, you know, now you can change this to image or uh, to text. Sorry. And there you go. Now we have a table. So again, you can use images or text uh, anywhere you want in this section. So let's save this one. So this would be section two. Very good. And now we can insert them into our Elementor page. And now we can select our two templates. So the first one would be section one and the other one would be section two. Very good. As you can see now we have our two different templates here being displayed. So if we use the toggle switch, it will switch from one to the other. And obviously you can apply any styling feature to this section here and you can go to advanced. So let's add a little bit of padding again. So maybe 50 and perhaps a bit of background color to our section here. So we go to advanced, no, sorry, style, uh, background color, select, and then white. So there you go, guys. This is basically how QI items works. And as you can see, 100 plus very practical widgets that you can use to design very powerful looking Elementor pages. Thank you.